Hey guys and girls, Indran here and you are joining me now on e-learning with expert. So today, I'm going to explain to you all what is IDCSE Maths and the IDCSE that we are talking about is the CIE IDCSE Maths paper. The code is 0580. Basically, this paper has got two components core component and the extended component. Excuse me, Mr. Indran, how many papers are there in the course? Okay, each component has got two papers. So if you're doing the core component, you'll be doing paper 1 and paper 3. If you're doing the extended component, you'll be doing paper 2 and paper 4. Which paper is more difficult? The extended paper is more difficult as compared to the core simply because the extended component has got topics added on to those already in the core component. So, can we take the core paper? Any student is able to take the core paper, but you've got to be careful in your selection. Students who take the core paper usually do not wish to pursue in anything involving mathematics after the IGCSE. As for the extended paper, these are for students who want to do mathematics further on, like in their pre u or their A-levels, or any university course that involves mathematics after IGCSE. Excuse me, Mr. Indran, is extended paper very difficult? If you have a solid grounding or a solid foundation during your year 7, 8 and 9, then you should have no problem in tackling the extended paper. So, moving on from here guys and girls, you should know how the papers are, what's the structure of the paper. Now, if you're taking the core paper, paper 1 will be the short answer questions and paper 3 will be the structured answer questions. If you're taking the extended paper, paper 2 will be the short answer questions and paper 4 will be the structured answer questions. Paper 1 is 1 hour, paper 3 is 2 hours. And paper 2 is 1 and a half hours and paper 4 is 2 and a half hours. The extended paper you are given more time over here simply because the questions are more challenging. As to the topics that we are going to cover in the course would involve numbers, algebra and graph, coordinate geometry, geometry, mensuration, trigonometry, vectors and transformation, probability, and statistics. Any other questions? Okay, if there's no further questions, I look forward to seeing you guys and girls on my video on IGCSE and don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Thank you guys and girls.